Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hartravel.com, your Norwegian cruise line expert. And today, I have the great pleasure of sailing on board the beautiful, brand new Norwegian Viva. In fact, she's so new, her very first passengers will be boarding tomorrow. We took her out of the shipyard just a couple days ago. We've gotten to experience this incredible vessel. All of the specialty dining and complimentary dining venues really speaks to Norwegians' dedication to upping their food game. It's absolutely delicious and you have a ton of choice. You're gonna love the entertainment here on board. Whether it's this amazing three-story go-kart track, the stadium, the miniature golf, or of course the amazing production shows. Beetlejuice is going to be amazing. I've seen it on land and this theater in its intimate style delivers it in a very unique and spectacular way. Of course, there's several other production shows, guest entertainers, and quite frankly, amazing bands and entertainment around the ship. So you've got great entertainment, you've got great food, and of course, amazing service. Now today, I'm gonna take you through this entire vessel, all the public spaces, and we do have all the rooms and suites on our channel as well. But before we get started, wanted to mention when you are ready to book your next cruise with Norwegian, Regent, or Oceana, make sure you book it right on hardtravel.com or you reach out to the team at Hard Travel. We know our incredible team of advisors can guide you through the process from start to finish to craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way. Now, something that Norwegian is known for is constant improvements. What you're gonna see with every single ship, in fact, every single class of ship, as they evolve, they make little tweaks or big tweaks to make it that much better. This three-story go-kart track is something absolutely remarkable. In fact, I'm so excited, why don't we head out and go on the go-karts now? Now, of course, I've gotta get off the track to do that, but we wanted to take you up here to show you a little bit what it's all about. As I mentioned, it covers three separate stories of this incredible vessel, all the way up to deck 20 here. You've got the Speedway Bar, you've got the Winner's Circle, but more than that, you've got an incredible dynamic family entertainment zone. My daughter and I love the go-karts. I can't wait to bring her back on board in just a couple months to experience it. We know those who are young and young at heart are gonna have an incredible time, not only in the go-karts, but all around the ship. It delivers all the Norwegian classics, several new additions as well, and I can't wait to share them with you. Now, if your friends or family are going on the go-karts, of course you wanna watch them, and this is one of the very best spots for that. They've put seating in here, which I really do appreciate, and this is also where you're gonna find the laser guns. On the back of every go-kart, you're gonna have a little button, and it's gonna have either a red or a green light, essentially, so it's a game where if you hit your friend on the back there, they're gonna get a nice little boost so they can go even faster. I love that it's interactive with both the audience and of course those who are racing. Now this screen is gonna display exactly who is the best with the laser gun. And then the other great thing that I wanted to mention is of course you have the traditional enjoyment of the go-karts with a group, but they also have the ability where you can go by yourself and race and get those lap times in. It is a little bit more of an upcharge, but it's an absolute blast and you gotta be the best so you can brag to all your friends and family. Not only did I go on the world's biggest go-kart track at sea, but I won. Now, as soon as you check in down below, the excitement is gonna build. You head right up the stairs here and here they're gonna do a quick safety briefing to talk to you a little bit about what the go-karts do, exactly what you need to pay attention to while you're racing, in addition to having an absolute blast. Then they're gonna head over and of course, make sure that you meet all the specifications. So the minimum height is 55 inches to drive solo. But as I mentioned earlier, of course you can bring the kiddos along that are shorter than that. They're just gonna be in the tandem cars with you. I know my daughter and I absolutely love it. We go from here down to tea time to play miniature golf, head over to the stadium, Galaxy Pavilion, back here again. Because in addition to having the group sessions, you can also do you in the track where it's just you racing on the track and you can also take advantage of the unlimited passes. If you love the go-karts, I highly recommend you check into that. They even have a maximum pass where you can take advantage of all the attractions on board here, Tea Time, Galaxy Pavilion, and so much more. Now let's get to it. Let's go racing. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Of course, as you head out, it's gonna be a little bit slow. One of the things that they can do is they can control all that for safety reasons. So we're gonna slowly head on out. And then once we get on the track, everybody's on the track safely, then they're gonna turn it up and we're gonna have a little bit of fun. Well, 
a lot bit of fun. Pretty darn excited. All right, let's see. Getting on the track here, and here we go. All right. Okay, so one of the things I love about you and the track, once again, it's just you and the track. So you can do exactly as you like. It is an absolute blast. So you'll see the Marshall stations. They've got people looking up. And now we're going to head up and over. And when we head around here, this is where the laser will kick in. All right, so let's see if anybody gets me and uh, gives me a boost. Well, there we go. Here comes the boost. All right, so I love that you can see the screens up there. You can see what place everybody's in. But keep in mind, it's not a cumulative race. So what you're looking for is the fastest lap time possible. And one of the really cool things on the Viva is they keep track of that. And the person who gets the fastest lap time on the cruise, of course, not only gets bragging rights, but they also get an incredible trophy. You better believe that trophy is going front and center in the office. See you later, Taylor. Uh-oh, he's catching up. He's catching up. All right, better turn on the boost. That was absolutely exhilarating. It was a ton of fun. For me, adding to it is the scenery all around. We're in beautiful Trieste, Italy today. If you're in Alaska, if you're in Iceland, it doesn't matter where you are. Adding an incredible go-kart track, beautiful scenery and fun with friends, especially when you beat them. I destroyed Taylor by one-tenth of a second, but that's all that matters, right? First place, the sand. You're the best all the soft serve. It is a soft serve and the hamburgers, but you'd think going up the hills, that'd slow me down. Eh, skill. Now, if you're looking for an adults only getaway, of course they have the Vibe Beach Club, which is incredible, but if you want a drink and a great place to relax with some incredible views, I highly recommend you check out the Viva Speedway Bar. Now it's behind where the slides and the stadium is, and it's actually relatively underutilized. It usually takes people a little bit of time to find it, but of course you're gonna have all of your favorite drinks and phenomenal bartenders. Another brand new addition are these tumblers. I just have to say, as a dad, it could be a perfect Father's Day gift. We come home very tired from work, have a drink, it all comes back. Now there's miniature golf here on board and I love playing miniature golf. If you see my videos, I talk about it all the time. This is very different. This is a smart golf ball. It actually has RFID and Bluetooth built in. It ties to you and there's actually real prizes that can be earned. So it is important to understand this does come at an additional cost. You can utilize one of the packages with this as well, but it's a great way to get together with friends. And well, you can actually tell what happened here because it's gonna track it. So let's see. There you go, perfect stroke. We're just getting a little test up here. All right. Winner, winner, chicken, negative 10. I like to go with, oh no, five. I can't see well, fair enough. All right, let's hop out back over here. Nah, all right, well, one more. Tap, tap, tap it in. All right, so once again, it's actually tied to me. So you can see the turn is complete up there. And now I think it's time for a little bit of a roller coaster. Let's try this one out. All right, there we go. Coming down, slowly, slowly. Like a game of Plinko, if you will. All right, let's see. All right. There we go. I think that's a par. What you're probably not seeing is that there's screens at each level. So each of the holes, you're gonna have screens in there. Once again, it's fully interactive and you can actually win real prizes. We'll do that when we get to the very end. Now you can move around to holds. Of course, you wanna stay in order if you can, but if there's maybe a few extra people, you can spread out and you can change it up. Now you can only play each hole once. Let's check this out. Oh man, right off the wall. Well, just like me. All right, let's see where it goes. And uh, I guess it knows I was tired. Eh, fair enough. Let's see, can we get a little bank shot here? 
Oh, well, close. Switch it up. There we go. Winner, winner, dinner for chicken. Now the very last one is cool. You actually can win prizes here. So it's not just that up above. You're going to try and, uh, well, see if I can win 50 points. All right. So you can see that it's kind of changing up as we go. And womp womp. Story of my life. Let's try that again. Yeah, I didn't get it at all. Better luck next time. I think that's gonna be the name of my autobiography. Now on board they have another pub classic. Darts is always fun. Played it quite a few times, usually later into the evening. And what you do is you can actually rent out the whole booth so you can play with friends. I really love that. It's another place where you can gather together and competition always uh, brings uh, the best out of people, if you will. So. Let's check it out. So it looks like I'm a pirate apparently and uh, Taylor may be the captain of the ship. Looks like I'm starting out with 20. And I didn't get it at all. Let's try it one more time. Well, I guess I got eight and that was on there too. Eh. Yep, nope, number one, not, uh, not my thing. And uh, number 18, apparently not mine either. Ah, there we go. All right, looks like Taylor is up now. All right, he looks like he got the N. I'm not sure that that's a number, but fair enough. And a uh, little below the seven. Apparently it's a little more difficult holding the camera. And there we go. O for three. There you go. All right, let's try round number two. This time, I'm gonna stay on the dartboard. Yeah, nope, not at all. Oh yeah, there's my 20. And that's not 19. Eh, one for three. It's a pretty good batting average if you ask me, 333. Taylor is aiming for the board this time, I promise. Ooh, number five, not one we're looking for. Also number five, still not the one we're looking for. And still number five. That's it, 0 for three. Perfect on base percentage, zero, zero, zero. Wait, different sport, my bad. Now another fun zone on board the Viva is the stadium. These are all styles of games, they're all complimentary, and they are all an absolute blast. I've been known to play a game of shuffleboard or five Every day I'm shuffling. at bars throughout the years, and so I love to hone in on my skills right here. Of course, it's also fun for every member of the family. You gotta get on the three at the end there to get the extra bonus points, but it's just a great way to gather together, maybe after visiting a bar or two, you never know. Now, as we continue through, the next stop is ping pong, but it's not just any ping pong, it's cylindrical ping pong, which means not only do you have an awesome echo, but you also have a much larger area to, well, play. There we go. So we're still trying to figure out the rules here, and I think this is also one of those games you can make your own rules up. That's clearly not good on any rules, but once again, just a lot of fun. Keep in mind, they do have traditional ping pong as well, but if you wanna get just a little bit crazy, I recommend a fun, fun game of ping pong. <laughs> Now another fun game here is sub soccer or sub football for those of you out there. Football is nice. You play without shoes on and really you've got a table here and you play soccer. You try to score on the person in front of you. It's a lot of laughs. I can't tell you how many times I've cracked up on that. And well, I've also cracked up a few times playing beer pong. So they do have beer pong here. They'll have the cups for you. You can have water, maybe bring a brewski or two and have a game with friends. And then continuing along is foosball. But this is not just any foosball game. This is foosball that you can play with six, 12, 50 of your closest friends. Well, not quite that many, but I love that it's a multiplayer game. You can have up to three to four people on either side and have a little bit of competition. Competition, fun, go hand in hand. And one of my favorite games to play on cruise ships is ping pong. As I mentioned earlier, they have the traditional ping pong tables. There's two of them right here. One thing that I love to do here is you can actually set up a tournament with all your friends. You organize it yourself and you can figure out who's gonna play what first, rotate around, and then compare the scores. And finally, they have a full pickleball court in here as well. 
pickleball seems to have caught fire in popularity. It's a lot of fun and it's a great activity you can do with a couple friends and you don't even have to get that much exercise. Now one of the things that you see as soon as you spot this ship from far away are the slides. Now there's three separate slides, two on one side, you've got one on the other. And if you're in for a rush, I highly recommend that you check them out. So this is the rush. What I love about it is it's perfect for two people to race against each other. You've got a minimum height of 48 inches, maximum height of uh, 80 inches, I think 79. So I'm just underneath, which is absolutely spectacular. So you'll go through the line here, which of course builds the anticipation. And one of the things I like about this particular slide is being that it's right next to the stadium, you can kind of do a circle or a side circuit of all of the different fun options. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna go all the way around and then you're gonna head all the way from up here on deck 18 and you're gonna get a rush as you go straight on down to deck eight. So you're gonna land on Infinity Beach, which is also a lot of fun. If you're screaming, just to tell you, people at the bottom are gonna hear you. I, uh, I learned that on Prima. But this is all what, to me, this ship is about. It's about gathering together with friends, having a little friendly competition, fun, and you can head on down the slides and have a blast. You're gonna have a mat, so it is a mat racer, of course, and those who go and get hamburgers right before almost always win. Well, I guess if you also have sushi and chicken wings and that Reuben sandwich at the local. Oh, anyway, all right, I'm heading down. Now, the other slide option is gonna be found on the port side of the ship, and that is the drop. It's an absolute blast. We're actually working on it right now, getting it in ship shape for the launch here in just a few minutes. I love this concept once again. If you just need to get down to deck eight, you don't have to use the elevator or the stairs. Just hop on in, slide on down. Now keep in mind they have several different styles of mats. It does line up with where you are in the world, levels of humidity and things like that. They're constantly improving and uh, well, three incredible slides, I like it. Now those of you who love the sun and a place to cool off, this is the main pool deck. You're gonna find three pools here. You got the big one right down the middle. You also have two infinity pools, one on either side. But most importantly, anchored right in the middle is the Waves Pool Bar. They're gonna provide drink service throughout the entire area here. And then just behind me for point of reference, you've got the Surfside Cafe. That's the outdoor dining area. And then on the other side, you have Palomar. That's also an outdoor dining area during the day for Surfside and at night it turns into Palomar. So there's plenty of places to spread out with a bite to eat. Now I wanted to point out the chairs. I really do like that they've upgraded all the deck chairs compared to what I've seen in the past. So you've got these nice comfy loungers here. There's a cocktail table in between each and every single one of them. You've got some that face out at the ocean. You've got some that face into the pool. Now another thing that I wanted to point out is this is used for all kinds of different activities. So in the evening, this is where you're gonna find the glow party that they do once each and every single cruise. Of course, they evolve the product, they change the parties up. The other night we were out here dancing to some incredible Latin music. The speakers are insane. They also have a beautiful screen right in the middle that's usually used for when they have the different events out here, but they can also put the big game on so that you can enjoy. Now keep in mind the pool deck is multiple levels. So the pools are down here, but you also have some incredible sun decks. Let's check them out now. Now we've just stepped up a level and you can see there's quite a bit more sun deck space. Those of you who love the sun, they've got you covered. Those of you who want a little bit of shade, they literally have you covered as well. There's umbrellas up here. They can move them around throughout the day. So you have quite a few of these loungers that are all facing out to capture those incredible ocean views. Now another wonderful spot is tucked in the corner. You've got sofas. You also have these really large comfy day loungers, day beds as well, where you can sit and relax. But this isn't the end of the sun deck. It actually extends up above. We'll take you up there in a minute. Now there are a few places on board the Viva where you can smoke. Of course, they have an area in the casino dedicated to that. And I like that up here on the sun deck, they actually have a cordoned off area. They do have covers up above. That's a really nice touch, but they've also glassed it all the way around so that you can have that protective. Once again, everybody can have what they want in the area that they enjoy. Now it's important that every single member of the family has something awesome to do here on board. They've added in the kids aqua park here. So you've got several areas where kids can be kids. They can run around, go through all the different splash pad areas. I know my daughter's gonna absolutely love that. I'm pretty sure my son will as well. Now, one of the things that I appreciate about this is they do have lounge chairs around. If you don't wanna be around kiddos, please don't take advantage of these lounge chairs. But for me and my wife, having a place where we can sit, relax while they're having a great time too, and also keep an eye on them, I really do appreciate that they've dedicated that space. Now, there's another great space for the kiddos up here on the top deck. 
Now, Norwegian has had some of the best slides in the industry for quite some time. They did add on the wave water slide. Now, just behind me, you can see it. It's a tube slide. So you're gonna go up one more deck to board and the tubes actually get run all the way up there themselves. So there's an electronic thing down below that's gonna push them up to the very top on kind of a conveyor belt. So you don't have to carry the tubes. I remember as a kid, all the water parks that we absolutely loved, that was one of the worst parts is having to carry the tubes all the way back to the top. My daughter will never know that suffering. All she has to do is head back up and head right on down. And I love that it's a little bit of a slingshot slide. So you go up, over and then back on down and you can head back time and time again. Now we all know that selfies and photos are a huge part of the travel experience. If you don't have a picture where you're actually really there, well that's what they're doing right here. So believe it or not, all the way up on the top over the bridge, there's a camera there. So all you have to do is tap your card right there and then you're gonna stand right here in the photo spot and it's gonna zoom in and then zoom back out. You can get a copy of it, you can send it to all your friends because you know that they're gonna have FOMO that you're here on board the Viva. I don't know about you guys, but I am feeling the vibe here at the Vibe Beach Club. It's another beautiful space, it's quite extensive, and this is an adults only space here on board. You can see behind me, the anchor of it all is of course that huge bar. Wonderful bartenders, you've got a large horseshoe shaped bar that wraps all the way around. You can sit at the bar, or you can take advantage of these extra comfy loungers. There's also tables for four and two in the middle. And then one of the signatures here are the two infinity pools. So you've got the Vibe hot tubs on either side here where you can sit, take advantage of those incredible views. You're also gonna find day beds as well in addition to all the loungers. Now keep in mind, Vibe is adults only. It also does come at an additional cost. It can be booked early on. So my high recommendation is you do that because this is incredibly popular. It's a wonderful spot. I've got little kiddos, I love them to death. But one of my favorite things is dropping them off at the kids club, knowing they're gonna have an amazing time. Coming out here, not having a family friendly experience, just hanging out with some adults, maybe having a brewski, maybe having a drink, maybe having both and just enjoying the vibe. Another thing that I wanted to point out is it's right next to the Surfside Cafe and the Surfside Grill. So if you do wanna grab a little food, it's just through the door, you step right back out here and you can continue to enjoy that vibe. So I've decided that I will take one for the team and I'm gonna be the official taster of all the brand new drink offerings here on board the Norwegian Viva. And I've also offered to taste all of the classics as well. So I've got a few of them here behind me and I'll get back to you as soon as I wake up. Now, if you're looking for a classic buffet style restaurant, the Surfside Cafe delivers. Now, keep in mind, there's quite a few complimentary options here on board. You're gonna have the indulged food hall, of course, the main dining rooms with the Commodore room and Hudson's. But this is another one of those places where you can have complimentary dining, grab it, head on out to several different locations. Now, this is open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every single day. So they're gonna rotate out the menu throughout the day. On the far side, you're gonna find the salad bar. You also have drink stations here. Of course, it's set up for dinner. You've got pastas, you've got grill options. And then of course, the most important is dessert. As we continue along, you're gonna find hot entrees and fruits. But what I wanted to point out is this is also where you're gonna have an egg station in the morning. You can have omelets made to order. They're absolutely delicious. Later on through lunch, once again, they'll mix it up. They'll put at the grill, hot dogs, hamburgers, steaks, things like that. And then once again, fruit and cold cuts, this is gonna be pastries and such for breakfast. They'll evolve it throughout the day. But we all know that the most important part of any cruise ship, it's not the rudder, it's not the engine. Hate to say it, it's not even the captain, it's the soft serve ice cream machine. And here, they're delivering the classics once again. Vanilla and chocolate, you could do a swirl, but I say you get one of each and make your own. Now I did want to point out one of the drink stations here. So this is complimentary. You're going to find hot water and then they've got teas, hot chocolates, things like that. You're also going to have drip coffee, the Nestle Vitality water. So for breakfast, you're going to find orange juice, apple juice, grapefruit juice, things like that. And then later on throughout the day, they'll put in the, the strawberry kiwi, the iced tea, the lemonade as well. Now I also wanted to point out that they have the Starbucks machine here. Now this does come at an additional cost and there is a Starbucks on board the ship as well. You start your day at home with that, you can do it right here as well. 
Now tucked into the corner, you're gonna find the Surfside Bar. So the bar will provide service for the indoor area, but I wanted to point something out. Now it's not a huge buffet area, but you do have seating outside. So that's out by the pool deck. You also have seating on the other side that you can utilize, which is the outdoor Palomar space. And then you can also use Food Republic. They use all of those spaces as extra seating. So you can grab your food, head just a short distance away and have several different areas to eat. Now, in addition to having the Surfside Cafe, there's also the grill. Let's check that out next. Now the Surfside Grill is that classic pool grill concept. You're gonna find hot dogs, hamburgers, they have some wonderful different brats and sausages, and you can utilize this. It's right next to Vibe Beach Club. Keep in mind that's the upgraded option, but you can take the food there. You can also take it into the Surfside Cafe and out by the pool itself. Now it's another one of those venues that's nice and intimate. It's not really big, but most of the guests do grab that food, complement it with the buffet, and head outside to dine. Now in the Surfside Grill, you've got a few tables and chairs. Here in the cafe itself, you're gonna find several different styles of seating. You've got tables for two, four larger groups as well. Floor to ceiling windows. I always love to sit by the windows here. It's absolutely stunning views. It is actually some of the best views on the entire ship. Now there's several different levels of seating. You're also gonna find the high top seating. You have high top bar style seating. And then as I mentioned before, you can take the food, head just a few steps away into Food Republic. There's quite a few seats in there. You can head to the outdoor of Palomar or you can head right on outside by the pool itself and enjoy a delicious bite. Now the first specialty restaurant that we are gonna explore is Food Republic. And I love that because it's my personal favorite. I love this restaurant for a lot of reasons. Now, what you're gonna find is a variety of options. Of course, you have sushi. You've got great hand rolls. There's some delicious options. I love me a dynamite roll, a dragon roll, a roll roll, any of them. They're all absolutely delicious. But what you're gonna find is different styles of street food. So you're gonna have some wonderful delicacies from all around Asia. You've got pad thai in there. You've got teriyaki skewers. The black cod skewers are out of this world as well. But there's a really nice large menu and it's one of the places you can use your specialty dinings that you're gonna get with the free at sea program or if you wanna purchase the package or upgrade the package. So a lot of our guests, you get two for a seven day cruise. They may roll that into four or five specialties if you wanna spread out and check them out on board the ship. And this is one of those spots, the way it works is you're gonna get several different options to choose from as part of the cover. Now I really like the seating here because you've got these beautiful windows looking out the side. So you've got quite a bit of seating in here. In fact, it's a really large space. It wraps all the way around to the side. I always like to sit right here at the sushi bar, but you got tables for two and four. They also have the great menus that are on the iPad so you can learn about everything that you're looking for right here in Food Republic. If you love Asian food, you're gonna love the variety and of course the taste. Palomar is a brand new addition on Prima and they brought her back from Viva because she's had such great reviews. This is Mediterranean Fine Dining. It's a seafood forward restaurant. They do have some delicious land-based dishes as well. Filet mignon, you can't go wrong there. They also have delicious lamb, but this is really about that seafood. One of their signature dishes is a whole fish baked in salt. It's for two people and it is delicious. I had it on my last cruise. I highly recommend that you check it out. But you've got all kinds of different Mediterranean delicacies and of course, this stunning setting. One of the great things about this restaurant is you've got dining indoor and outdoors. So you've got tables for two and four. I love these tables for two by the large floor to ceiling windows. And then of course behind me, and you're also gonna have a full bar set up. So you can come on in, sit at the bar, have a drink before your meal, or they'll provide drink service throughout. Now a big hit on several of the last Norwegian ships is the observation lounge. Now it's a common feature that you'll find on a lot of cruise ships. There's usually a lounge of some sorts on the top front of the ship. But what I love here is the high design and there's quite a bit of space in here. So it's not quite as big as you're gonna find on maybe the sister ships of Joy, Bliss, and Encore. But I love for this size of ship, I think it's absolutely perfect. So what you're gonna find is you have several styles of seating. You've got some gray chaise loungers looking out at those beautiful views. You've got areas for one and two. You also have larger areas where you can sit with a group. Now over here, you're gonna have some food options. So throughout the day and when they host special parties in here, they'll put out small light bites and then you have ice and water. They also have coffees and teas and things along those lines. And they'll use this space for several different styles of events. Now in the name is observation. And as you're sailing through some of the most beautiful parts of the world, this is a phenomenal place to be. 
Now we're at the very top forward of the ship right now. Once again, you see some great places to spread out. You can imagine grabbing a book, sitting right here in this large chaise lounger and looking out at the views. Today, as I mentioned, we're in Trieste, Italy. It's a great place to see that, though I'm really excited to be back up here as we sail away from this beautiful port. Now, as you wrap around the other side, you're gonna find more of the same. That side is gonna have the full bar, and of course, the bar will provide service throughout the full observation lounge area. Now, an absolute blast of an experience that debuted on the Norwegian Joy is the Galaxy Pavilion. Now, if you love VR, you love video games, this is gonna blow your mind. Now, each and every single time that they've created one, they've taken it to another level. So there's a lot of activities in here, but one of my favorite things is actually the entryway. My kiddos love going in and out of here. I don't know, it feels like you're heading into space. Well, you really are. You're heading in to a whole nother dimension. Hey, it's been a while. How you doing? Oh, I'm enjoying it. Now, before we head in to explore the incredible virtual reality games, I wanted to point out the escape room. Now, there's actually two escape rooms and it's two completely different experiences. They're very, very popular. You wanna book it as soon as you get on board. And what I like about it is they're very different. So there are similarities. They're both escape rooms. You're both working towards achieving a goal, a common goal, if you will. Of course, you can get it private just for your group. You can also join another group if you don't have a larger group. Now, what I really appreciate is the props. It's really well done. It's well constructed. There's a lot of fun to be had for every single member of the family. And it's a great way to bond and of course, grow together. Now, once again, there's two different options in there. The first one's a little more lighthearted, a little more whimsical, I would say more family oriented. The other one, you're gonna have a magician in there. Might be a little bit on the darker side, but both are a ton of fun for every member of the family. Now let's dig into the VR. Now the first one is The Descent. It's a really cool game. And one of the things that you'll notice, they have these large screens. You also have screens in front. So what I love about that is maybe one of your friends or family members playing, you can kind of play along as well too. You can see what they're seeing. So you step into the cage, you're gonna put on the VR glasses, there's a gun over there. And then what's cool is you, because of the way it's designed, and it is unique to Norwegian Cruise Lines, the way it's designed, you kind of feel like you're moving through spaces and you actually bump up against physical spaces. So I did that on Prima, it's a really cool one. You have VR Infinite Battle, once again, it's more of a battle style game, there's, it's a gun game as well. You've got Beat Hero, not 100% certain, uh, you know, how much dancing I'm gonna be doing, but uh, well, I'm gonna get after it there. It looks like a lot of fun as well. And then the one that we just experienced, that kind of blew my mind, is the weapon. Now, the weapon is unique to Norwegian once again. It's a gyro, so it goes all over the place, up and down, literally upside down. It's a real trip. Now, I will highly recommend, if you are very sensitive to motion, you may wanna avoid some of these, but it's an absolute blast of those who love roller coasters and those styles of, of games. But in addition to all of those, you're also gonna have some really cool racing games that are interactive. This one is really trippy. It does feel like you're moving, like you're racing on a track. It's gonna physically move with you. You're also gonna have the games over here. So Skyrider, similar to what you saw on Prima, but you're gonna find that there's so many different games that they can combine. And that's one of the cool things about the way they've designed the Galaxy Pavilion is if you've done some of these games before, there's five, six, 20, 30 different versions that you can encounter in there. Now, one of my favorites is the Full Swing Simulator. You can play several different sports games. They've got baseball, football, dodgeball. Of course, golf is one of the favorites, but let's play a little bit of football. Football is nice. Oh, well, we're here in Europe, so I gotta call it that. Let's see. Oh, that guy looks pretty deadly there. What can you say? All right, well. Looks like he moves like me in the goal. I don't know if you guys know that fun fact. I was the goalie when I was younger. Could it have been that I was the tallest person on the team? I don't know, but I was, so let's see. Well, clearly I got it now. What do you think, top corner? Or should I try to take him out and go right through him? I think, uh, well, let's see. Ah, oh, man. Shoot. Oh, well. Well, one for two. You gotta go one more, right? Two for three. All right, let's see, but I gotta fake out the zombie. I don't wanna let him know where I'm going. Let's see. Heh, <laughs> off the knee. Score. 
Now, if you fancy a little bit of off-roading, this is a phenomenal option. One of the things I love is it's, it's a little more extreme than you think it might be in a very good way. So it really does feel like you're moving and if uh, you're not a great driver, well, you might just flip that truck, we'll see. Continuing along, you've got the VR Starship in the back corner. This is fun because it's fun for all ages. You actually have quite a few different options that you can choose from. You do roller coasters, science fiction, they have children, horror, all kinds of fun in there. In fact, I know I'll bring my kids back here in just a little bit and it looks like you can even take a ride on Santa Claus's sleigh. Next up, you've got a couple different options here. So you've got Starline Surfer. Basically, you're moving, moving around side to side, navigating there. It also has a little bit of boxing fun. Once again, one of the great things about the way they've designed these is they can program and add in extra games throughout the time. Now, my personal all-time favorite is the Dark Ride. So it's behind the door there. There's actually eight separate seats. You put on the VR goggles and you can join along with friends. I think the last time I hunted werewolves, another time we hunted zombies. But what I love about it is it's that true 4D experience. You've got the wind, you've got the movement, all of it put together for an absolute great time. Now, if you're a spa lover, this is the place to be. Norwegian has always done an incredible job with the Mandara Spa, but with Prima and Viva, they've truly taken it to the next level, and I can't wait to show you now. Now, you're gonna start right here at the check-in desk. Of course, make sure that you pre-book your spa appointments. Come by the first day as well. You can do a complimentary tour of the space, get those last-minute appointments as well. They will fill up, especially on sea days but you're gonna check in here each and every single time, and then they'll send you over to the relaxation room, get a little more information about you to make sure that you get the perfect spa treatment. You can communicate with your therapist the things you like, you don't like, and of course they can customize that just for you. There's a small waiting room area here, and then the upper level is dedicated more to the salon type features. So the first one is the barber shop. I really do like this space. It's an awesome place if you wanna get a shave, a facial, or both, you can do that right here. So they have a wide variety of treatments that are aimed specifically at the gents. And of course, a spa day for the gents and ladies together to me is a wonderful thing. I know my wife and I always love to do that on vacation. Of course, you gotta to top it off with the thermal suite and I'll take you there in just a minute. Now, speaking of my wife, I know she'll definitely stop by the beauty salon. Now, as we head inside, you're gonna have all of your favorite treatments that you would find at home. You can see they do have a partnership with Keristus from Paris, some of the best ingredients in the industry. And you can see they have four separate salon stations here and then a couple of the hair wash stations. Now you can get a haircut. Of course, you can have a revolutionary new do. You can also just get done up to head out and have an incredible night on board the Viva. Next up is the manicure station. So here you can see they have three separate stations there. Of course, that's all part of that pampering experience. And then as we head around the corner, they're also gonna have three pedicure stations. I really do like this. They do a lot of couples treatments. You can do that together or on your own. You can, that's the best part of cruising to me is everybody can get exactly what they're looking for. Now keep in mind that they do have a full Medi Spa here on board. So if you're looking for a Medi Spa treatment, once again, you wanna go ahead and book that up early. They get really, really popular. There's several different treatment rooms for you to take advantage of. Now we're inside of one of the treatment rooms. Of course, being a spa, you can have different styles of massages. For me personally, I always go between the hot stone massage if I'm looking for something ultra relaxing, or maybe that deep tissue or bamboo style massage if I need to get the muscles worked out after an incredible vacation and touring around the world. Of course, they also have a variety of wraps, facials, and you can see they have the products from Elemis behind me. They do have a wonderful partnership with them, and you can take advantage of all those treatment offerings that they offer. Now I spoke about the relaxation room. This is that space. I love that they actually have each space kind of cordoned off with these nice curtains here. So you do get that little extra privacy. And what this is about is you're gonna fill out a little bit of paperwork, once again, to make sure that your therapist knows you because it's all about personalization. It's about getting exactly what you want. This is that spot where you can get in that wonderful Zen mindset. They also have some infused waters, teas, and things like that. So you can start your treatment here and then finish your treatment here and then head back out and enjoy everything on the ship. As you exit deck 16 down to deck 15 to enjoy the thermal suite, your breath will be taken away. You have this incredible water feature that runs the entire length of the space. You're gonna have the hydrotherapy pools all down the middle as well. And it's as relaxing as it is stunningly beautiful. Now, of course, this is just one part of the thermal suite. It's the most extensive I've seen at sea. Let's continue along and check it out. Now, as you head down the stairs, you're gonna go into the locker rooms first. This is where you can change and get ready. 
You've got the beautiful spa robes here. You've got the lockers so you can drop your stuff off and you can program them yourselves. And then right around the corner, you've got a beautiful vanity area where you can get ready. And of course you can get back ready again when you head on out to enjoy the ship. Now this is super cool and I'm excited to share. This is the experiential spa journey and it really is a journey. You can work your way through and there's quite a few options. The first one is the aromatic steam room. So lucky for us, it hasn't quite been turned on yet. You can see it's a really nice large space. That's one of the themes that you're gonna find from this thermal suite. So you've got seating all the way around. Of course, they'll have the aromatherapy, usually some kind of eucalyptus or lavender or mint of some sort. But that do, what it does is it opens up your lungs and it really helps to enhance that healing experience. Now there's several different styles of sauna. The very first one I've ever seen was with Norwegian is a charcoal sauna. Now this is all about detoxification. So in addition, of course, to the hotness that you're gonna have in there, you also have charcoal lining the walls to pull the toxins out. On the other side, you're gonna have a classic Finnish sauna. So this is one that I'm sure you're very familiar with. You've got the hot coals in the middle, you've got the water bucket that you can kind of dump on there, and you have several different levels of seating. In fact, there's three levels of seating there, which I really do appreciate. Continuing along, and we're not done yet, you're gonna find the experiential shower. Now, one of the things I did wanna mention about this space is that they do have accessibility accommodations. So the experiential shower is accessible. The locker rooms had accessible bathrooms and showers as well. And so you've got experienced showers on either side. So these are the ones with the Swiss jets, several different styles from the top. You can do the cool mist and that tropical rainforest. Now, another wonderful option is the salt room. It's that same concept. It's about healing and detoxification. So it wraps all the way around and you can see the beautiful Himalayan salt lines the walls. On the opposite side, you're gonna have an infrared sauna. So you can see where the infrared beds are just behind. This is a great option that a lot of people enjoy at home. So you can continue through here. Now, one of my favorites is the ice room. So it, believe it or not, it does snow in the Caribbean in the winter and in Europe in the summer, if you believe that. And that is because of the ice room. So in here, you can see that it's making ice. So it's nice and chilly. You've got ice right here. So all you have to do is take that, you're gonna rub it on your arms and legs. It's gonna cool you off. And then once again, this is all part of that spa journey. So you can head back and do warm and cold and alternate. It's all about healing and getting in that Zen mindset. Oh, sorry, we're back on. Well, these are some of my favorite spots on the ship. Now I'm gonna take you around the corner to some more, but what I love about these loungers, they're ergonomic and they're heated from the bottom. So for me personally, with back issues that I've had for quite some time, I can sit back, relax, it really does heal the back, bring a book, listen to some music, or just the beautiful sound of the waterfall. I'll see you guys on the other side. Hmm. Now I wanted to take you down to the experiential physiotherapy pools. So you've got a warm pool over here on the side. On the other side, you have quite an extensively long pool and there's gonna be jets all the way around. So you can actually work your way all the way around there, go between the two once again. It's all about that spa journey. Now we're all the way forward on the ship in the main part of the thermal suite here. This is the relaxation zone. Those of you who know Norwegian are familiar with a space like this, once again, it is elegant and beautiful. You're gonna find several different seating areas. So wrapped all the way around the front, you're gonna have those wonderful hot stone loungers. I really do appreciate those. You're also gonna have classic loungers, and then you have a few different styles of options behind, including some wonderful day beds for two. So if you wanna have that spa package, once again, for you and your spouse, you can take advantage of that. And I did wanna point out there's a couple ways to get this. So one of them is if you upgrade to one of the thermal spa balconies. So those are located up on deck 16, close to the spa. It's a bit of an upgrade, but when you upgrade, you do get complimentary access throughout your entire cruise. In addition to that, you can purchase passes for the day or in the entire cruise. This is one of my favorites. So if you're thinking about that, they do sell out. You're gonna to wanna to stop by and pick those up. So you've got more hot stone loungers on the side. And then another really cool thing is this is a beautiful spot to be when you're cruising in the scenic parts of our world. You're looking directly out the front of the ship with floor to ceiling windows, lots of places to spread out and a really extensive thermal suite for a ship of this size. Now, for those of you fitness lovers, they do have a world-class gym here on board and that is Pulse Fitness. Now it's all part of that same complex where you've got the Mandara Spa and the Pulse Fitness Center. I love that you can kind of go back and forth between both. Now we're gonna head right around the corner and check out some of those free weights. They actually have a pretty extensive collection for a cruise ship. You're gonna see a wide variety of barbells and dumbbells. They've got kettlebells over there, 
all the different types of benches so you can customize your experience. Now you're gonna find all the different circuit equipment as well. It's wrapped all the way around here so you can do a full body workout. And then they also have a wide array of aerobic options. I do love that they have all of these treadmills lined up all around the front of the ship. You're taking advantage of those beautiful floor to ceiling windows. So if you're sailing somewhere beautiful in the ocean or you're in Italy like we are today, you're gonna get phenomenal views while you work out. Now, of course, being a brand new ship, they have all the brand new top of the line equipment for you to utilize. They've got a couple more bikes over here in front. You're gonna have yoga mats, medicine balls, balance balls, quite a few different options. And one of my favorites is actually the foam rollers. To me, there's nothing better after a long flight, maybe you're hopping over the pond to Europe, to stretch out on one of the foam rollers, of course, roll out all your muscles, and then head on out and have an amazing time. Now, just behind me, I wanted to point out that they do have Vero water in here, something that I really appreciate. You're gonna find this on the sister brands, Oceana and Regent. Keep in mind, we have those videos on our channel as well. If you wanna check them out, maybe you're looking for a smaller ship, a little bit more upgraded experience. But what I love about this is you can refill as you'd like, and there is no limit to that. Now, as we continue along, you have quite a bit more aerobic equipment. You're gonna have more treadmills. There's two layers on this side. You're also gonna find that you have a rowing machine, two of them in fact, and you've got several different styles of bikes. Now just behind me is one of the personal trainer's offices. Now keep in mind they can do body composition analysis, they can do all types of things to do with fitness. So if you wanna have a new fitness regime at home, they can help you put that together and you can take it home with you as well. Now one last stop in the gym, I know it's Taylor's favorite, is Studio One. Now this is where you're gonna find the Spin Studio. Now, one of the things I love about SPIN is it's an interactive experience, it's a group experience, and it's highly motivating. So, of course, the instructor's up in the front, you've got all the top-of-the-line technology in here with the TV screens, and, of course, all of the sound. So, if you wanna have a world-class workout, you can do that right here in the SPIN class. Now, keep in mind, it does come at an additional cost, and you're gonna wanna sign up early. Now we're headed into the Splash Academy. This is the area on board dedicated to the littlest cruisers. I know it very well as I started cruising with Norwegian when I was eight years old. Had a great time then, had a great time all through my childhood, and my kiddos have an amazing time now. Now there's been an evolution in the program. Previously it was strictly based on age, and now though it is age-based, they have five to 12 year olds and they really do give them the opportunity to do what they want. So you're gonna have the dynamic zone. This is where there's lots of different activities, fun, maybe a little active sports, little dodgeball, bowling, things like that. They're also gonna have a video game zone. They're gonna have arts and crafts. There's quite a few different options and they even have an expanded version for the youngest cruisers. Now in here, it's going to be three and up. And what I love about the way that they've done that is that they've allowed the kids to really choose what they wanna do. So you'll see that there's quite a few spaces. You've got a huge TV screen there. You've got the bean bags. You also have a little art center set up. And then as we head through the space, you can see that they can shut it off and they can divide it up based on the activities that they're taking advantage of. You've got another movie zone over there. I love the tiny little recliner chairs that you're gonna have. And then you also have tables and chairs. Once again, they do a lot of different styles of activities. They're gonna keep them busy from sunup to sundown. And there's even a late night babysitting option that you can take advantage of. Now that does come at an additional cost. It's very, very reasonable. And I know I've done it with my kiddos. In fact, the last time I could barely get my daughter out of here when they closed. Now we've seen two of the zones, now we're gonna head into the third area. So in here is where you're gonna find the video game zone. They've got a couple really large screens. You can see the video games over there in the corner. You see it's all set up here as well in the cabinets. You're gonna have art supplies, different arts, crafts. So it's gonna be more than just fun. They're also gonna be learning along the way. And what I know as an educator for quite a few years, if every member of the family's having a great time, it's certain to be a perfect vacation. Now I did want to point out that there's not a dedicated entourage teen club, but they do have times in here where it's dedicated to the teens, they'll separate it off. And then they'll also utilize spaces all around the ship to make sure every member of the family is taken care of. Now the Haven on board the Viva is in the very top aft of the ship. It's a beautiful location to take advantage of the incredible views. And we've started off right here in the Haven lounge. You can see the beautiful artwork that lines the walls, one of the most extensive art collections at sea. And one of the things that they've really done with the Viva is tried to make lots of wonderful intimate spaces. So here you can see a nice little seating area. You've got two chairs on that side. Of course, the large, beautiful sofas there as well. But you'll see that they have partitions. And the whole point behind that is a great place for you to sit and relax. 
Now, I love this lounge space, but my favorite part of the lounge is right around the corner. Now, I mentioned my favorite part of the Haven Lounge. It is the bar. And what I love about it is, of course, you have the best bartenders in the business, not just the Norwegian fleet. They're absolutely incredible. They're going to keep the drinks flowing. They're going to keep you smiling and they're going to remember you. That's something that I always love here. In fact, it's such a special experience that many of our guests actually follow around their favorite Haven bartenders, believe it or not. Now, not every Norwegian ship has a Haven bar. The ones that do are a huge fan favorite. So I wouldn't be surprised to see them added elsewhere. Now they're gonna have an extensive collection of liquor here. Of course, you can take advantage of your beverage package or if you've upgraded, they have some wonderful options that are included in that as well. You've got several different seating areas. So once again, those nice small nooks, tables for two and four, and then the impressive floor to ceiling windows. So you can get incredible views all throughout the Haven area. Now, the other thing I really like about this is it's, I guess, double, maybe triple the size of what you're gonna find on the Breakaway Plus class ships like Encore, Bliss, and Joy. They've listened to their guests, they've added this, and as soon as we head on outside, you'll see what I'm talking about. They've really doubled down. There's even an outdoor Haven bar as well. Now, something very unique to this class of ship is the Haven elevator bank. Now, it's in the aft of the ship, which makes sense because all of the Haven suites are in the aft portion of the ship, the aft third or so. And what you're gonna see is that you have an elevator bank that's key card access only just for Haven guests. What that means is if you're staying on, on deck 13, for example, all you have to do is tap your card, you're gonna come directly up into the Haven. It's kind of like that New York penthouse experience when you come right up to the private elevator bank. Now, another thing that I love about this is that you also have access to the passenger deck. So if you're down on deck six, having a drink at the Belvedere bar, tap the key card. It's going to take you right back up to your home away from home, the Haven. Now you've got quite a bit more lounge space in here. You've got more of those beautiful sofas, chairs, and the updated decor. But one of the things I really like about this is they have a massive concierge area. So they're going to be the ones that can take care of just about anything on the ship for you, whether it's reservations, answering questions. And of course, they're going to work in combination with your butler. Every single Haven suite has a butler. It's a wonderful, wonderful experience. The only issue is once you've experienced it, you're not gonna wanna go back. Now, what I wanted to point out is it's not just the gorgeous spaces. It's the people that make the Haven special, just like it's the people that make the entire Norwegian Viva special. David behind me is taking care of guests right now. And what you're gonna find is they're here for you every single step of the way. They're gonna improve the experience and you're gonna come back time and time again. Now I wanted to introduce you to a group of absolute legends. This is the Butler team on board this ship. They are here to take care of every one of your needs, whether it's reservations or just to make you smile throughout the day. Or of course, one of my favorites, that incredible white tablecloth in sweet dining. They love what they do. They're incredible at it. And you're gonna come back time and time again. Now there are countless reasons to upgrade to the Haven, whether you want that incredible room, course if you want the amazing space up here but one of the things that i love is the dining experience so the haven restaurant is open to all haven guests for breakfast lunch and dinner each and every single day now keep in mind if you want to have the same down in your suite they can take care of that as well but what i love about this is it's a great social experience and it's a stunning setting you've got the beautiful floor to ceiling windows it's the most expansive haven that they've ever built on board a ship so you're gonna have tables for two by the window, tables for four or six. They even have larger family tables. And just to give you a little bit of idea of the level of service, they're over on the far side there steaming all the tablecloths right now. So that when the guests come in, they're gonna be blown away. So you have upgraded dining options. They're absolutely delicious. You're also gonna find that you have upgraded linens and silverware and all of those types of things as well. So if you love delicious dining, the Haven restaurant's a perfect stop. Now for me personally, there's nothing better than dining al fresco. I love to be outside, taking advantage of the beautiful views, that fresh ocean air. Once again, they've doubled down on that space as well. Let's head outside and check out the Outdoor Haven Restaurant. Now behind me, you'll find the Outdoor Haven Restaurant. Once again, tables for two and four. They've got booth style seating and they can accommodate larger family groups traveling together as well. One of the things I did want to point out is in addition to the incredible views, they also have heaters up above. So if you happen to take one of the transatlantic sailings, this is a great spot to be any time of the day. Once again, breakfast, lunch, and dinner is highly upgraded and it's included in your Haven fare. Now this is the outdoor Haven bar. Of course, it complements the indoor bar. You could even do a bar hopping tour of the Haven. So I love that you've got bar seating here. Of course, they're gonna do bar service to all the areas wrapped around. So the sun deck here, the sun deck up above as well. Once again, wonderful bartenders and delicious drinks. 
Now we're outside on the Deck 16 Haven Sun Deck. Now you're gonna find exactly what you expect, that beautiful overstuffed furniture. In fact, it's the same furniture that you're gonna find on the larger Haven suites that are in the aft of the ship. So you've got lovely day beds for two. They do have umbrellas, so if you want some shade, they can take care of that. Of course, if you wanna be in the sun and catch some rays, you can do that as well. There's some round day beds tucked in the corner. You're also gonna find large cabanas all the way around. These are first come, first serve, no additional charge. And then just for point of reference, right behind me is the Haven restaurant. Now, as we continue to head aft, it's gonna wrap all the way around that incredible infinity pool. So now we stepped up a deck to the Haven Sun Deck that is adults only. So it's actually 16 and up. So if you're looking for a place to sit back and have the ultimate relaxation, this is it. You've got more of that wonderful overstuffed furniture. You also have different styles of day beds, a couple hot tubs as well. I really love that they offer that dichotomy. Down below, it is family friendly. Honestly, you very seldom see too many kids there. They're having way more fun on the water slides. They're having a blast in the Splash Academy. At least I know my kiddos are, but I love that you can have that perfect spot for every member of the family. Now we're all the way in the aft at the signature infinity pool. So they're just filling it for the very first time right now. You've got this shallow area all around the side. So you can sit here on the side, dip your toes in the water to cool off. Or of course you can walk down those beautiful steps, head all the way to the edge and get the best view on any ship in the world. I love that they have this here. And once again, complementing it between the lower sun deck, the upper sun deck, the Haven restaurant, the Haven lounge, and all the incredible service. It really does come together as a world-class option here on board the Viva. So now I'm inside the sauna in the aft of the Haven Sun Deck. I love that they've added this spa feature. There's also a nice room right behind, so you can utilize it kind of as a circuit. You've got the infinity pool, the hot tubs up above, you've got the sauna, and of course you've got the ice room. At the end of the corridor with the studio cabins, also accessed only by key card is the studio lounge. Now it's a space that I love, and I really appreciate that Norwegian goes out of their way to accommodate solo travelers. In fact, I think they're the absolute best in the cruise industry. This lounge space is only available to those who book the studio rooms. Right around the corner there, there's a door that actually goes up to deck 13. So you can access it from both. Just keep in mind, if you have any mobility concerns, you probably wanna pick the studios on deck 12. Now, all of the spaces I mentioned are just for solo travelers. It's a place where you can gather together. Of course, you can have a drink. They have engaging activities set up as well. It's also just a wonderful lounge space where you can sit and relax. Now, as we head further in, you'll see behind me, you've got several lounge areas where you can sit. And then in here, you kind of have that kitchen vibe. I love that they have this high top table that can accommodate eight passengers. You also have some tables and chairs tucked in the corner on either side. And this space, once again, is still dedicated to the solo travelers. So around the corner, you've got a wine dispenser. You also have a couple beer dispensers. Of course, if you have the drink package, you can utilize your key card to access those. You'll also have an espresso maker over in the corner. They'll have light bites for breakfast and lunch tucked over the side. Once again, I love the dedication to solo travelers. This area is only accessible to those who book the studios and they have quite a few of them available. So if you wanna meet new people, hang out, relax, this is that perfect spot. Now we're inside the Viva Theater. This is gonna be the main entertainment venue here on board. They have the incredible production show of Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Of course, you gotta say it three times. You guys all know that. It is an incredible production that they've put together. In addition, they have Icons, a world-class show, and they're gonna have guest entertainment and other production shows coming online in the coming weeks. Now, this is that wonderful venue where you can take advantage of a Broadway-style production and it's included in your fare. I know when I first saw Summer the Musical on board Prima, I was blown away not just by the quality of the cast, but also the incredible technology in this theater. So this particular theater has an amazing screen up above. It's not turned on right now, but it is so realistic that when they put water on up there, it looked like there was water coming down. There's an incredible amount of intelligent lights, all the top of the line sound equipment as well. Taylor knows that really well. He used to run quite a bit of it. And we were looking, it truly is an amazing investment by Norwegian. Now, another really cool feature of this theater is all of these seats will roll all the way back against the wall. So they'll do that with each production show. At the end, they're gonna push it all back and then it turns into a nightclub experience. So one little secret, if you're up on the top part there, on uh, what is that, deck, deck seven, you're actually gonna get to go on the stage as they change it over. It's a really cool experience in and of itself. And keep an eye out for Sid's Prom. This is a brand new concept here on board. Those of you who love Sid Normans are gonna really love this 80s prom concept. 
Now, once again, they can use this for all kinds of entertainment. It's the most high-tech theater ever built on a cruise ship, and you're gonna really enjoy the shows, and once again, include it in your fare. One of the most stunning spaces you'll find on any cruise ship in the world is this beautiful Penrose Atrium. I remember seeing it for the very first time in the shipyard when it wasn't finished, and it was beautiful then. Now it's absolutely extraordinary. So you have high design. You can see all of the different angles really work together. You've got the incredible glass blown chandelier on the roof, and then you're gonna find this as basically the main hub of the ship. Starting up on eight, you're gonna have the whiskey bar. You'll also have Onda by Scarpetta and the photo areas. There's a ton of retail wrapped all the way around on all three decks. You're gonna find guest services up on deck seven as well. And then you're gonna find Starbucks tucked in the corner along with the internet cafe. I love the location of all of it because you really get that incredible open light. Now down here on six, you've got several great retail options. The John Hardy store on the far side, Beauty by Design, you can take advantage of those duty-free prices. And then you also have aficionados in the corner. Now, if you're considering another cruise with Norwegian, which I know once you get on board, you're definitely gonna be doing, you can stop by the Cruise Next desk, get those certificates, and then when you get home, your hard travel advisor can help utilize those to pick the perfect cruise for you. Now, as we walk through the lower level space, you'll see beautiful furniture here, lots of different styles of furniture, and you've got settings for two, four, and larger groups to gather. And then on the far side, you're gonna find the Penrose Bar. Now, I found this to be a very lively spot on my last cruise. You're gonna see that they have several different seating areas. Of course, they do have seating right at the bar, and because the casino is close by, there's even a few casino machines in the bar itself. You're gonna have incredible bartenders here, and what I love about this space is they also complement it with a wonderful music venue. So each and every single evening, on sea days during the day as well, you're gonna find the bands down here entertaining everyone, and it's kind of a transitional zone, because just behind that, you're gonna find the casino on either side. Once again, this is a great gathering place to grab a drink before or after dinner, or come down later in the evening and rock the night away. Now, another great retail option, if you're looking for some luxury jewelry, is Timeless Luxury. So in there, you're gonna find all kinds of different options, wonderful high-end watches, and you also see their partnership with Effie. Once again, if you wanna spoil your partner, it's that perfect place to stop by and take advantage of the duty-free prices. Now there's two spots here that are really important. You have guest services and onboard credit. You can think of this as the front desk of a hotel. They're gonna handle everything to do with money. They can answer questions about your room. And of course the onboard credit desk, they can work through that to make sure that you have all of that set so you don't have to worry about it. Now I always recommend visiting throughout your cruise. The first day and the last day, it gets by far the busiest because there's a lot going on there as people settle up their bills or ask questions as they board. Now we're headed into a classic space. This is Starbucks. Now Norwegian has partnered with Starbucks and they now have a Starbucks on every single one of their ships. So it's a great gathering space. Think of your favorite coffee shop at home. That's exactly what this is. So they have a larger table there with stools where lots of people can gather. You've got tables for two and four and it spreads out all the way around the atrium. You also have this great booth style seating on the far side as well. But when you head up there, it looks exactly like your Starbucks at home because, well, it really is. They have all of the different offerings here. Now keep in mind, it does come at an additional cost and it's not included in the regular beverage package. So you can talk to your hard travel advisor about that if you're looking for something a little bit different. They've got phenomenal baristas. In fact, quite a few of them we know from previous cruises and we've had a great time with them here on board. Now keep in mind that the seating extends to the other side of Starbucks as well, so you can get those gorgeous floor to ceiling window views, grabbing a coffee as you cruise through the world. Now on the other side here, you're gonna find the Connect Internet Cafe. Now this is where they're gonna answer all the questions to do with your internet packages. Keep in mind with the free at sea, you get some minutes. Most of our guests do un upgrade to full unlimited either surf or streaming packages and get multiple logins as well. That way you can stay connected at sea. Just forward of Starbucks, you're gonna find the Shore Excursions desk. Now this is where they can answer questions about Shore Excursions, you can make changes, you can even book a Shore Excursion, though we always recommend that you pre-book your excursions because they do sell out, especially the most popular options. They have quite a few to choose from, you can do that right in your cruise planner through the app, or through the website. Now keep in mind if you're looking for private or maybe higher level excursions, you can work with our advisors on that as well to get the perfect fit for you, your friends, family, or group. Now we're at the top level of the atrium. You do have more retail here. So this is where you're gonna find all of the logo wear. You can stock up on your favorite Norwegian Viva shirts, 
of course, sweatshirts, mugs, all that fun stuff. And there's also a Pandora store in there for those of you who are Avatar fans. So as we continue further in, you can walk across this bridge and you get another incredible glimpse of the atrium down below. One of the things I love about the design of the Penrose Atrium is depending on where you are, it looks different, but it's beautiful each and every place. And from here, you get a great view of that incredible blown glass chandelier that's just up top. Now let's head into Perspective Studio. Now Perspective Studio is a photo studio here on board. I'm sure you're familiar with the fact that they do take photos around the ship, different events and things like that on, on the cruise. And of course you can purchase those if you like. Now this is a different concept here. This is where you can do a formal portrait setting. If you're looking to get the family together, maybe for that perfect Christmas card photo, or just capture an incredible moment with a family reunion, this is a wonderful option. Because I know at home, it's always tough with all the schedules for the kids and my wife and myself, my parents. It's always tough to get everybody together for a setting like this. This is that perfect spot and they do have incredible professionals. They can print them on different mediums and you can order all kinds of different options here. At the heart of it, you're gonna find a large horseshoe shaped bar. Once again, it's a full bar. And one of the things I love about this location, it's right next to Onda by Scarpetta, a delicious Italian option. So it's a perfect place to grab a drink before you head in and enjoy some pasta. I've enjoyed a bit, well, a lot over the last couple of days. Mm, whiskey, mm-hmm, all mine. See you guys later. Hmm, looks like they even have some for Taylor. Heading aft on the ship from the atrium on deck eight, you're gonna find quite a bit more retail. One side, you've got eye style, of course, all different kinds of sunglass options. The other side, you're gonna find the zone, so you've got different styles of jewelry. You're also gonna find some great logo wear in there. In fact, got my eye on one of those ship models. I gotta to add to the collection. Now, continuing along, you're gonna find even more retail. So there's really a ton here. I love this spot. It's all the things you might've forgotten. Maybe you need some batteries. Maybe you need to get a charger. In fact, I had to do that on this trip myself. They also have things like toothbrushes and lots of different options for those who may have forgot something at home or just wanna stock up at the duty-free prices. Now, as we continue into Tech at Sea, they actually have some phone options, some wonderful Apple offerings. They've even got AirTags in there. I always have one in my checked bag so I can keep track of my bags when I travel. And then you also have some great different styles of headphones, AirPods, and then you're gonna see that you have speakers as well. Now, continuing along, you're gonna find the photo studio. So as they take photos throughout the cruise on board, always your choice, of course, you can get them all here. And what I love is it's all digital now. All you gotta do is tap your card right there. It's gonna pull up all the photos that you have. You can have them print them for you. Of course, you can purchase just a package or maybe one or two, or you can just take them all digitally home and have a wonderful collection. They're also gonna have a great selection of GoPros, binoculars, and different types of photography equipment in here as well. Now, I did wanna point out this cool feature, the imagination wall. It's an interactive experience. So you go up, you tap your key card, you can do a dance competition, you can play some soccer. There's lots of different options here and it's fun. And it's even funnier as you're acting like a crazy person as people are walking by. Well, I do that on a regular basis, but I had an absolute blast here and a lot of laughs with fellow guests. On to buy Scarpetta is truly a delightful option here on board. The restaurant debuted with Norwegian on the Encore. They've added it to several ships since, and you can see why, just the elegant design alone, but it is delicious Italian food. If you love Italian, you're gonna absolutely fall in love with this restaurant. They have a pizza oven and deliver delicious pizzas. They have all of your favorite appetizers. For me personally, it's always that beef carpaccio and the delicious burrata cheese with a little extra burrata cheese. Of course, as you work your way through the course, they have six different types of handmade pasta. If you've eaten pasta, which I know you have, that is the secret to delicious options. Continuing along, of course, you're gonna have some wonderful entrees. That steak is to die for. Of course, the veal milanese is also incredible. They have all your favorite cotorni, the sides, all of it is delicious. And then of course, cap it off with some tiramisu, panna cotta, or surprisingly delightful cheesecake. Now it's not a huge restaurant and it's very popular, so you're gonna to wanna to book ahead. They've got tables for two and four, they've got larger tables, and then I've actually dined here with large groups as well, they can set that up. Now this restaurant also has outdoor seating. In fact, we're in Italy today. What better place to have delicious Italian food than looking out at the coast? And then of course, you've got that covering over there, absolutely delicious. Now, if like me, you are hungry like the wolf, you're gonna love Los Lobos. This is a classic Mexican eatery here on board with indoor and outdoor seating. 
It actually has quite an extensive menu. Of course, you always have to start off with that guacamole prepared mocajete style. They have some delicious different appetizers. I absolutely love the seafood mix. It's stunningly delicious. And then as you work your way through the menu, you're gonna have some classics. Some mole enchiladas, one of my all-time favorites. Cochinita pabil, all kinds of deliciousness. Now, capping off for dessert, of course, you can try the flan, but for me, it's all about the churros, followed by some churros, and then sometimes I get another side of churros. There's a lot of great options on this menu, and if you love Mexican food, you're sure to enjoy. Now, they've got booth-style seating by the windows. You also have tables for two and four, and then all along the far side, you've got more tables as well. As I mentioned, they have some wonderful outdoor dining, Personally, anytime I have the option and the weather's decent, I always wanna dine outside, but you're gonna to wanna to request that early on because it's incredibly popular. You'll also see that this restaurant is filled with wonderful colors. I live in Southern California, just north of Mexico, and when I walk in here, that's exactly what I feel. Now, the local bar and grill is a 24-hour eatery here on board the Viva. I love that, and I wish every cruise ship in the entire world had something like this. They're gonna have delicious food for breakfast each and every single day. It's plated. To me, it's very similar to what you might find at your local diner. You have some delicious breakfast sandwiches. I had the brioche breakfast sandwich this morning. It was absolutely out of this world. Of course, eggs and French toast, things like that. As you move throughout the day, you're gonna have a lunch and dinner menu. It's gonna be quite a bit more expansive. And then I love that they actually have a late night offering as well. I can't tell you how many times I've had chicken wings at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., working, especially when we're over here in Europe and everybody back in the U.S. is, op is up. So I love that they have this open 24 hours a day and it's really high quality, delicious food. Now, those of you who are a little bit older, not quite kids, remember these games from your childhood. I know growing up at Shakey's Pizza Restaurant, we used to play Donkey Kong all the time. And I love that my daughter actually loves it now too with the new Mario movie that came out. So you've got Space Invaders, Donkey Kong, Galaga. If you're looking for a little bit of nostalgia, this is the stop for you. And just for point of reference, it's right between the local bar and the local grill. Now, every great local grill always has a wonderful bar, and this is a fantastic one. So this is the local bar. It's an extension of the restaurant. In fact, you can see ketchup and mustard here on the bar, also set up all around because you can dine from the local menu. Something that I absolutely love is that goes late into the night because the local is, of course, open 24 hours. So there's nothing quite like having your last drink of the night with some delicious food accompaniments. They have some amazing appetizers in there as well. So all along the windows, they have different styles of seating. I know my wife's all-time favorite are those birdcage style seats. You've got some on the far side and then wrapped around. And then as we continue along, you've got the huge bar here. Some of the best bartenders in the business keeping the drinks flowing, keeping you smiling late into the night. I also love that it has a bit of a sports bar vibe as well. They've got the large TVs on, so if they've got a big game on, you can watch that here. Now, as we continue along, it is a multi-use space. So there's a massive TV screen here that they'll of course play the big game on. I've also seen them set this up for a little bit of karaoke, trivia, all kinds of different options. And you've got high top bar style seating all along the middle. And then continuing along, you have some really nice comfortable seating areas. I love the way that they've sectioned it off to make it very intimate. If you're a party of two or four, you can gather with friends. In fact, I'm seeing the table right there where I gathered with friends not that long ago and had quite a few things to eat and maybe even drink late into the night. The other thing that I really love about this space is it's a great transition space. So of course you have more seating all the way along and then we're gonna head into one of the best parts of this ship. In fact, one of my favorite dining venues ever on a cruise ship, the Indulge Food Hall. Now the food hall really is a place to indulge and one of the great things about it is that there's something for everyone. You have an assortment of restaurants, you can order one bite from each or multiple bites and each member of the family or friends group can get exactly what they want. Now we started off right here in the entryway where you can see the tandoor ovens that are tied to Tamara, which is their delicious Indian restaurant here. I absolutely love it. And I love that they have the ovens. In fact, they got a little bit of history talking about how it goes back 5,000 years in Indian history. Now, of course, some of the best Indian chefs in the world work on cruise ships and they deliver time and time again. Now, the thing that you're gonna find is that each of the restaurants, there's seating where you can sit right at the restaurant. But keep in mind, you can also order from other places. And then there's other seating wrapped all the way around where you can order from all of them as well. So once again, right here, Tamara is the Indian restaurant. And then I wanted to take you into one of the drink stations. 
So this is what you're gonna find all around the ship, of course, are the complimentary stations. So you've got different hot water, drip coffee, decaf coffee over here. I love that they also have chocolate milk. My daughter and I stop by here quite often to load up on the chocolate milk. It's absolutely delicious. On the other side, they're gonna have the Nestle Vitality water. So for lunch and dinner, which they serve in here, you're gonna find things like lemonade, sometimes iced tea. You also have some wonderful infused waters. I think strawberry kiwi is my favorite. Now, in addition to that, you've got water and ice. And then I wanted to point out this Coke machine. So if you have the drink package or a soda package, all you have to do is scan it and you can pour. Now keep in mind, you can also purchase that a la carte. So several complimentary options. And then as you can see, a couple upsell options as well. Now, before we get to all the rest of the options, we've got to go to the most important one here. That of course is Just Desserts. And there they serve Just Desserts. So there's a quite a bit of offering of wonderful, delicious complimentary. They also have some upgraded options that will blow your mind. Now I talked a little bit about the seating earlier on. This is what I was talking about here. So you can see that there's quite a bit more seating that spreads out. Now, those of you who've cruised on Prima will find that there's quite a few more dining options inside here as far as seating goes. They've also expanded the seating outside. And then of course you can sit right at the bars. Now this is noodles. This is where you're gonna find some delicious Asian street food options, all of your favorite different noodle options. And I did wanna explain how it worked. So they do have a static menu, but there's a different menu for lunch and dinner. So you can come for lunch, you can come back for dinner and get two entirely different sets of options. I love street food and the noodles here have delivered and been absolutely delicious. Now, the other thing that I wanted to point out are the iPads. So right here, you'll see them, okay? All you have to do is click it, and they'll turn it on here in just a bit, and you're gonna get all of the menu options. So in there, all you have to do is select which items you want, from which restaurants and they'll bring it right to you. I really love that concept because like I said, oftentimes at home, my wife will be and I will be in the car going, do we want Indian food tonight or Chinese food tonight or barbecue, or maybe we're gonna go get a great salad. You can all be satisfied here. In fact, that's the whole concept of the Indulge Food Hall. Now, as we continue along to the very aft of the Indulge Food Hall, you're gonna find the Luna Bar. Now there's a matching bar outside we'll take you to in just a minute, but this is a great bar where you can sit and eat and drink. So they have a lot of different beers on tap here. They also have a full bar set up so you can have deliciousness and then they'll also be delivering through all around the food hall area. So once again, you can order drinks from the iPad and they'll be brought right to you. Continuing along, you're gonna find the Latin Quarter. So just like the name sounds, you're gonna find all kinds of different foods with Latin influence. I love that they've got it set up like a food truck. It's really cool, but you'll also see that there's a bit more space in here and a bit more seating than you would find on Prima. Now, as we start to head back forward, you're gonna find more seating options. These are high booth style. And I even love that the ceiling has the plants on there. It's a really cool aesthetic. And then we're gonna get to Q Texas Smokehouse. Now Q debuted on the Norwegian Bliss and it was a huge hit. It's absolutely delicious. You're gonna find barbecue style and it's Texas barbecue specifically. So you're gonna have all of your favorites. And once again, I love that concept that you can maybe have one item from here, another from the noodle bar, another from the Indian restaurant. It's all absolutely delicious. And I would not be surprised to see other ships in the future from other cruise lines adding a concept like this. Now tucked in the corner, you're gonna find the Seaside Rotisserie. Now on the far back side, it's a carnivore's delight. They have all the rotisserie set up, had some delicious chicken not that long ago. Lots of wonderful options there. And then our next stop is the garden. So those of you who want a soup and salad option, maybe that's only it or just the appetizer, you can see that here. They've got several different ones. The cob was really, really delicious. Of course, all the soups were as well. So you're gonna see that there'll be people manning each and every single station. And then you're gonna find more seating in here. Now, I did wanna point out that the tapas truck or Airstream trailer, if you will, has been moved. This is where Starbucks was on Prima. Now you're gonna find some delicious options here. For me, the first time I visited Spain, my favorite part of the entire experience. Now I love the people, the architecture, all of it, but I love the tapas culture. There's something wonderful about having lots of tiny, tasty bites to eat. Of course, you can double down if you love one of them. You can also expand your palate and try brand new things. That's another thing that's wonderful about this food hall. And of course, cruising in general with so many complimentary options, you can step out and try something brand new. And in fact, most of my favorite food items I've discovered on a cruise.
Now, every great restaurant, just like a movie, deserves a sequel. So Just Sweets compliments Just Desserts, and it's Just Sweets. So they'll have this set up shortly here with lots of delicious, delectable options. So you can have some wonderful, rich, tasty sweets to cap off that incredible meal. Or if you're like me, you can start with them too. Now we step just outside the Indulge Food Hall. Now there's more seating out here. They have definitely expanded it on board the Viva and I appreciate that. You've got the iPads out there so you can order. But what I wanted to point out is all of this seating area. Now when they brought Viva out, in fact, when they first started promoting, they talked about Prima and Viva having the most outdoor space of any ship in its class. And of course, more outdoor space than any other Norwegian ship. And this is one of those spots where you can see it. Of course, you've got the incredible Infinity Beach that we're gonna head to in just a moment, but you can see they have all the different styles of furniture out here. They've got extra comfy loungers in the back. They've got seating areas and a cabana style concept. They also have tables for two, larger group seating here. And what I like is it's all larger furniture that's extra comfy. For me, comfort is king. This is a wonderful place to be. And you know, my favorite spot on a ship is the aft. They've even added that aft facing Soleil bar. So that complements the Luna bar inside. You're gonna have great drinks. They're gonna provide drink service all the way around back here. And you can get those epic aft facing views. Now, I just wanted to take a moment to thank Norwegian Cruise Lines. They listened to my feedback, more soft serve ice cream machines. Now they are named after Taylor, but they're going right here in this stomach. This is right outside the Indulge Food Hall, a little bit different than our sister ship, the Prima, and more places to enjoy the deliciousness. Now, Infinity Beach is on both sides of the ship. We happen to be on the port side right now. This is another outdoor pool zone, if you will. What Norwegian was trying to do, of course, the main pool is not huge, but by having three separate pool areas, it really does spread people out and increases the enjoyment. So you're gonna have shaded seating areas all along the side there. You do have loungers, you've got some sofas. You also have more loungers out in the sun. Of course, all of them have cocktail tables and they all have cocktail service from the Soleil bar just behind. I love these really cool day beds. It's actually a water feature, so there's water all the way around. You can dip your toes to cool off. And then the main feature of Infinity Beach is of course, that Infinity Pool. So you've got the Infinity Edge Pool where you can sit, look out, take advantage of those incredible views. Once again, there's one on either side, the port and the starboard. This complements the main pool, the Haven Pool Deck, and all the spaces here on board to create the most outdoor space on any Norwegian ship. Now, one of the goals when building this class of ship was really to connect guests with the ocean. And what better way to do that than to walk right on top of the water. We're actually cantilevered off the side of the ship. You've got a glass floor right here. Looking down, I am all on top of the ocean and I absolutely love that concept. Not only does it connect you, but it's a really cool feeling. Now, there's an interior walkway for those who might be a little bit afraid of heights, you don't have to look down, but it is absolute blast and it's something you can do on both sides of the ship. Now, another wonderful spot to relax is La Terraza. This is gonna be in the front third of the ship. It's on both sides of the ship. You're gonna find these great lounge spaces. They do provide drink service out here. But what I find is this is a very quiet, relaxing place where you can connect with the sea. In fact, if you wanna see the sea, they even have these great binoculars here so you can check out what's going on. Hey, it's Trieste. I love it, absolutely beautiful. The Art Walk is, to me, a very meditative and relaxing space. I love to look at art. My wife's an artist, and I can see some incredible pieces all around me. Now, each has been procured specifically for the Viva. In fact, it's been created specifically for the Viva. This ship has one of the most extensive and expensive art collections at sea, and you're gonna see why here in just a moment. Now, I love that they have a diversity of art. So you see the beautiful sculpture behind me. You've got the play on chrome just on the other side here. And then, well, you got some scissors on the other side along with the holy wall. That's what I love about art. You can interpret it as you like. Of course, the artist will explain their personal interpretation. But to me, this is a place where you can wander, learn, and relax. I love that it ties right into La Terraza. You can walk all the way around this ship. One of the things that I love about promenade decks on ships is it's wonderful when you can kind of walk and have an experience. Of course, there's quite a few other other ships where you walk around and there's just some chairs and some seating areas but here you've got Indulge Food Hall in the back you've got La Terraza in the front you've got the wonderful ocean walk and then you have all of this beautiful art now as we head aft on deck seven from the atrium you're gonna find some more high-end retail you've got some great watch options on either side and then as you continue along you're gonna have some more high-end bags. So you've got all your favorites from Louis Vuitton and Chanel. We've got some wonderful options here. And once again, the reason people look at items here on a ship 
is because you have that duty-free pricing. Oftentimes, you can save quite a bit compared to what you're looking at at home. And of course, the cruise lines do guarantee the quality. Now, as we continue to head further aft, you're gonna find the Park West Gallery. What I love about walking through here is it's a little bit of an art exhibition every single time. Now, of course, you can participate in the art auctions. You can purchase art here on board. In fact, a lot of our guests do that, but I love walking through here because they will rotate the pieces out and they know an extraordinary amount about art. So it's a great learning experience as well. See some of our favorites from Romero Brito. You got some Peter Max, some Wyland over there, Godard. A lot of the things that you'll find throughout the cruise ship industry with the partnership Park West. Now let's head into a place where you can truly rock out, Sid Normans. Now those of you about to rock, we do salute you and the band will as well, and they're gonna play their hearts out. What I love about this venue, it is on the smaller side, I'll say that, but that makes it such an incredible, intimate experience. So you've got the full stage up here. They will use this venue for different things throughout the day, and I've actually used it personally for large groups that we got together for different conferences and things. But really what it is, is it's a pub with a great rock band. So you've got the full bar experience over there. You're gonna really enjoy it, but you wanna get here early for each and every show. It will fill up, and as soon as you see a show, you'll see why. Now, if you love a great laugh, you're definitely gonna to wanna to stop by the Improv. Now, this is the comedy club here on board. Also another venue that you can use for different groups and things along those lines. Now, there's a full bar tucked in the back. You're gonna find different styles of seating that they can rearrange. So they have pub style seating. They also have lower seating with chairs for two and four. And I love that they have slightly taller chairs in the back. Now, this is one of those venues that will sell out every single show and early on. You're definitely gonna to wanna to stop by the first day to make reservations, to make sure that you reserve your spot here. And keep in mind, they have two different types of shows. Well, a couple more than that, but really they've got the standard show and then they've got the late night adult comedy. So that can be a little bit on the raunchy side, generally a lot bit on the funny side. So you pick the perfect option for you. Hey, I didn't know Lily Tomlin was a travel agent. I make that same face a few times a day into my mic. Hmm. If you love classic French cuisine, you are absolutely gonna love Le Bistro. This is a Norwegian original. You'll find it on pretty much all the ships and for good reason. It is absolutely delicious French fare. You can start off with your favorite. Of course, I know it's gonna be escargot. They've got lots of delicious options. Work your way through the menu all the way up to that lobster thermidor or the delicious coca vin. Whatever it is that it's French, you're going to love it. Now, growing up, my grandma loved to cook French food. In fact, I watched a lot of Julia Childs with her. So every time I'm back in this restaurant, I get a little bit sentimental when it comes to that. It's a beautiful space, just like you've seen throughout the ship. You've got these three incredible glass chandeliers right down the middle. Of course, a massive wine collection. If you're a vinophile, you're definitely gonna wanna stop by. In fact, if you love champagne, you wanna try out the partnership that they have with Veuve Clicquot. So you can take that, pair it up with some delicious dishes, and you are sure to enjoy. Now there's quite a bit different tiles of seating in here. You've got booths along the window, so those can hold up to four passengers. You also have tables for two on the far side, tables for six and eight, and of course they can accommodate larger groups. This is a very popular option here on board. And once again, if you love butter and you love French food, you can't go wrong. As we continue to head aft, we're gonna head into Metropolitan. Now this is a wonderful bar experience, but before we do, I wanted to take you into the Humidor Cigar Lounge. So you're not finding as many of these on cruise ships as there used to be. And I love that they have this space specifically blocked off. If you love a great cigar and some cognac or cigar and bourbon or cigar and anything, this is a wonderful stop for you. You can see they actually have a great collection that you can choose from so you can purchase cigars. Of course, you can bring your own on board as well. And you can gather together in this social setting. I do appreciate that they've got a TV screen in there so they'll play the big game. It's a really beautiful space and it's very well ventilated and it's separated from everyone else. So everybody can have the exact experience they're looking for. Now let's head through the Metropolitan. This is one of my favorite bars and lounges here on board. You're gonna find a ton of seating in here. You've got intimate areas with four for two. You also have larger areas where groups can gather. In fact, my friend's group gathered right there and we had a few cocktails. And another new addition to this is an entire wall of interactive art. It's a really cool concept here. But the most important part here is of course the bar and the bartenders. They have some delicious drink options. It's one of those places you can take advantage of the sale and sustain concepts that Norwegian has put together. 
they take different parts of the fruit, like maybe the rind of the watermelon, and turn it into something delicious with the idea of not having any waste left over. Now they'll also use this for gatherings. They'll set up music. I've seen it set up right here where you can have a crooner maybe late into the evening, but it's a wonderful intimate space where you can sit back, relax with a group of friends and have some wonderful drinks. Now, if you love dinner and a show, you're definitely gonna wanna check out Hasuki. I will say that this is the most popular restaurant here on board. You have to pre-book it. Keep in mind, if you're in the Haven, you're gonna have the earliest access to specialty. If you're in a club balcony suite, you'll have the next access, and then everybody else will have that at 120 days. You're gonna to wanna to snag a reservation right away, though they do hold some back so that you can pick on board as well, usually about half of them. Now, this is a classic teppanyaki grill. In fact, Norwegian put teppanyaki on the map for cruise ships, and this is their most beautiful space that they have ever built. Now what you'll see is you've got these tables for eight. I love that they also have tables for two along the bar area in the front. That's something that you don't find often. So it's a great place to gather together with friends, to meet new friends, and of course, to catch a flying shrimp. But what you're gonna love about this is as I mentioned, it's dinner and entertainment. So my family loves to come, everybody loves fried rice. You're gonna have that for sure. And they actually have a wide variety of delicious options. Of course, you've got chicken, you've got that New York strip, scallops, shrimp. One of the things that's surprisingly delicious is the teriyaki tofu. So you can mix that with vegetables and the fried rice, and you can have a delicious vegetarian dish as well, which I like to put on the side of all of my meat dishes. It's absolutely stunning and delicious, as I mentioned. So once again, if you're looking for a little bit of show, a little bit of delicious dinner, make sure you check out Hasuki. And if you're really next level, as I like to think I am, Nama Sushi is right outside, so you can supplement your scallops and your shrimp with some delicious sushi options, and then maybe come back for more. Now we're headed into Nama Sushi. Those of you who know me know that I love sushi, and I love that they have two separate restaurants here on board that serve sushi. Right at the heart, you've got that classic sushi bar. They've got great options from sushi, sashimi, and hand rolls. The barbecue eel hand roll is absolutely delicious. I love the rainbow roll. Well, quite frankly, I love all of the different rolls. The yellowtail is another one that's absolutely stunningly delicious. Though one of my favorite items here was the tuna pizza. Check it out when you come and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So it's a relatively small restaurant. You're definitely gonna wanna book ahead. They've got tables for two and four. And then of course the seating right here at the sushi bar. Personally, that's always my favorite spot. I usually come here for pre-dinner sushi. And then sometimes I come back a little later for post-dinner sushi. And sometimes I even eat here for dinner and have sushi. Arguably the most beautiful views in complimentary dining in the entire cruise industry belong to Hudson's. It's at the very aft of deck seven, and it's a 270 degree wrap around dining experience. You've got those beautiful floor to ceiling windows. So as you sail, you get some incredible views and some delicious food. Now this is one of the complimentary main dining options here on board, which means you can have it every single day. It's not open for breakfast and lunch every day, depending on port or sea days, but you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner in here, and you are sure to enjoy. Now it has a pretty extensive menu, and what they do is they have a very large static menu and then a small rotational menu, so you can have different tastes, and they also have the ability to basically purchase up if you'd wanna buy one of the specialty restaurant meals. For example, you can get one of those delicious Cagney steaks in here, and there's a surcharge associated with it, or you can order from that extensive menu at no additional cost. You've got a great variety for appetizers, mains, and of course, those delicious desserts, and you have quite a bit of seating in here. So you're gonna have tables for two by the window, four, six. They also can accommodate larger groups. I love that they have that special group area tucked just behind. I got to dine there not that long ago. And once again, it wraps 270 degrees all the way around the back of the ship. It's not only beautiful, but it's delicious. Heading aft from the atrium on deck six, you're gonna find the Cassi Yes. At least that's what I call it. If you love to gamble, they have quite a few options here. So you've got all your favorite slot machines, they've got the slide machines, the key master over there, and then of course, all of your favorite table games. You've got craps, Texas Hold'em, three card poker. Also see, of course, roulette over here. So if you're looking for some wonderful gaming opportunities, this is the perfect spot for that. Now, one of the things that I love about the design of the ship is the majority of the casino is smoke three. And this is the area that you walk through to head back to the restaurant 
and bar. So I really appreciate that. But of course, they have an area tucked off that's completely shut off with great ventilation. That's gonna be the smoking part of the casino and it's still rather large as well. You've got the table games back there, you've got the slot games and all of your favorites. Now, if you're looking to go all in, they do have a high roller room. So if you're looking for some high stakes gaming, they can take care of that for you as well. Now, as we continue aft, you're gonna find the Belvedere Bar. It's another beautiful space here on board. I know I've said that a few times, but the ship is gorgeous. I love the seating here. It wraps all the way around like a large horseshoe shape. You've got small areas for two. You also have larger booth style seats. And then you're also gonna have areas for four, but my favorite spot is always at the bar with those incredible bartenders. Now they do have Belvedere vodka, of course, but I'm a big fan of Mr. Belvedere from back in the day. It's a great sitcom if you wanna check that out. A Little different than this bar, but I thought I'd mention it. Now we just stepped inside Cagney Steakhouse. This is another one of the wonderful specialty restaurants here on board and another one that's very, very popular. It is an unapologetic steakhouse. You've got all your favorite steakhouse sides. And of course, you're gonna order the ribeye. Well, I'm gonna order the ribeye because it's the most delicious of all steaks, but they have all of your favorites. My wife usually goes for the filet. They also have some delicious fish and other seafood options to complement. Now, in addition to all of those delicious options that you can have for dinner, they also use this restaurant for breakfast and lunch for sweet guests. Now, the sweet guests are those who are not staying in the Haven, but are in a full suite. Keep in mind, we have all the suites on our channel for you to check out. And this is a great reason to upgrade. Of course, you get quite a bit more sweat space with the suites, but you get a delicious upgraded breakfast and lunch in a specialty environment every single day. I also really appreciate the open kitchen concept. To me, when you walk into a steakhouse, you wanna get hit right in the face with those incredible intoxicating smells. And to me, grilling off a steak over there is gonna produce that, and you're gonna enjoy your time here on board. Now you've got tables for two and four. I usually request the table for two by the window personally, but if you're traveling with a larger group, of course they can accommodate that. But as I mentioned, it's a specialty. It does come at an additional cost, and you definitely wanna book ahead. Now, if you think you should be in charge of the full fleet, or maybe you're just really into 70s funk and Motown, you may wanna check out the Commodore Room. This complements Hudson's. You're gonna find the same menu down here. It's another complimentary restaurant here on board. You can see the beautiful decor in here. You do have seats along the window. So if you're looking for that, make sure you request that as soon as you come in. You've got tables for two, four, six, and they can make them larger for big groups as well. This is another one of those great complimentary options here on board. And I've got to say, Norwegian has really upped their food game over the last four or five years. I've been constantly blown away with the quality of the food. It feels much more in line with an upper premium style cruise ship rather than the contemporary where it really sits. And I love that. So if you're in for some delicious food, lots of variety of options, make sure you come by the Commodore room. Now I'm sure you can see by now why we love the Norwegian Viva so much. The world-class entertainment, the delicious food, and of course the incredible crew providing world-class service throughout your cruise. When you're ready to make this space your home away from home or any space on Norwegian, Regent, or Oceana, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the space is inside and out. We have an incredible relationship with the cruise lines and we know we can help craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the Hard Travel signature service every step of the way.